China chairman right now is now supporting Nissan Wiki and he has told the PDP that why they will not be able and why they won't remove Wiki's cousin as a do REC REC rather. So right now, I've not believe I'm not getting to understand that these are the little little reasons why Wiki Nissan Wiki is still having strong mind and you know the, the audacity to be issuing dangerous threats to a lot of governors and things is not being done because recently when um some um pdp governor tried to interfere in the issue between um wiki and fubara and river state wiki sent threats that any governor no matter who you are no matter your state if they try to interfere in the matter he is going to send fire to their state imagine such threat but the pdp um governors actually um you know classified threats as in um, irresponsible threats you understand so right now the um INEC now tells pdp that why they will not remove wicked's cousin as edo are easy so guys if this is your first time coming across this channel or if this is your first time watching a video on this beautiful channel i want to encourage you to get the subscribe button and also try to turn on notification bell icon so when next we put new video on this channel you'll be among the first set of people to get the notification so right now and right here let's dive into the full details and explanation and before we dive into the full details and explanation please if you are in a noisy place try to get in an earpiece an airport uh, headset so that you don't miss hear what we are saying in this channel so the independent national electoral commission which is the INEC has rejected the people democratic party called to you know to deploy the Edo state resident um electoral commissioner the call was made by the party as the state prepare for its september 21 governorship election so anubom or not anuach the state wreck has been a subject of controversy over its relationship with the minister of the federal capital Ter territory nissan wiki so Edo Governor um, Godwin Obaseki and Wike have since fallen apart after the letter after the letter supported his second term bid following his defection to PDP. And Obaseki and the PDP to his end expressed fear that Onua Onuha would influence the election to favor the all progressive congress where Wike is now a minister. So recall that on Thursday, State PDP Chairman Tony Aziebemi submitted a protest letter to INEX Chairman Muhammad Yakubu requesting Honor's immediate redeployment. So one thing I understand here is that if you on the if you actually understand what I'm trying to say, you will notice that instead of our leaders people who, who who promise us changes in nigeria before the way we elected them instead of them focusing on what to do they are now instead having issue among others because of election you understand because they have take nigeria as a business place it's not where to become a leader and cater for the citizens so once the election is getting close they don't care about anything again imagine what is going on right now this has shows that they don't have the care for the citizen that's why you see nigeria is nigeria keep on getting worse worse and worse so this all this thing is um, a very very solid evidence that you have to rethink and reconsider because we also are the cause the citizens also are the cause of all this kind of thing because we are now complaining about hardship complaining about the massive increase um rates of petrol price but when the election starts coming close right now, we start having this biased mentality. The Yorubas want to vote for the Yorubas, the Igbos want to vote for the Igbo, and the Alsa want to go for the Alsa candidate. And when we do that, it now gives the the um those people who, those candidates the impression to start buying our conscience. Whereby some people some people will become confused and start saying anybody that gives them money is who they will vote for. Then they start buying. Some people, a lot of people, conscience with ten thousand naira, five thousand naira. Then when we now lead ourselves into another mess again, we now start carrying protest. The same thing every time. The same thing everywhere. So reacting, reacting. Chief Press Secretary to the INEC Chairman, Rotimi 
Oye Kami stated that the REC would not be redeployed. He further appealed to the PDP to focus on the process of the election rather than on war. The REC for Edo State will not be redeployed. The governorship election will be conducted on 21st September 2024 in 4,519 polling units not in the REC office. In the same manner, polling unit results will be declared by the represent, um, respective presiding officer after the, after the voting, ballot sorting and counting process in the presence of accredited party agents and other stakeholder. So the PO will also take a picture of the PU result in each polling unit and with the bimodal voter accreditation system and upload the same to the INEC result viewing portal. This process is not the same as electronic voting or electronic transmission and collection of results. So right now, I want you to go to the comment section and share your opinion concerning what you think and I'll be eager to reply each and every one of you. Have a great day ahead. Bye.